Good day, friends. I show you how to, uh, no, to, uh, to connect the PC to PC using Ethernet cable and how to sharing the files. This is my partner to, uh, no, to operate this, these motors. So this is the laptop one. First, let's go to the control panel. Then click the network and internet. And then click the network and sharing center. Then go to change advanced sharing settings on the left side. In private, turn on network discovery and turn on the file and printer sharing. Also in guest in public, Turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing. And then lastly, in all networks, turn on sharing so everyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. And then turn off password protected sharing. Click Ethernet and go to Properties and choose Internet Protocol version 4. Click Properties. Use the following address. In IP address, type 192.168.1.1 and just click the next box it will automatically put the submit subnet mask of ip address in default gateway we just type 192.168.1.2 and this is 888 and click ok close and then close so this is the laptop 2 we will just do what we do in laptop 1 because it is just the same process Again, go to control panel and choose and click the network and sharing center. Change advanced sharing settings. Turn on, turn on. Turn on, turn on. And then turn on and then choose turn off. Then save changes. Ethernet. Properties. Choose Internet Protocol version 4, Properties. Here in IP address, we will just do the opposite in Laptop 1. Instead of 1.1, we will change it to 192.168.1.2. Subnet mask. Default gateway 192.168.1.1. Click OK, close, and then close. We will now try to share a file from laptop 2 to laptop 1. This file, CubFood, right click, show more options, give access to specific people. Click the drop down and choose everyone. Add, click read or write, then share, and then click done. This is laptop 2, so to access that, we will need to click Windows R. Type backslash backslash 192.168.1. Then click OK. In here, we can see the users. Click it. Click again user, desktop. Finally, we can see the file name CubFood and we can now access the file. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!